big story. It comes from the Nebraska legislature, where the Newborn Safe Haven Act moves past the first round of debate, but without an anonymous surrender option. Well, this comes after a senator raised concerns about the use of safe haven baby boxes. KETV Newswatch 7's Jessica Perez breaks down the options that the bill still includes for mothers. Safe Haven boxes are climate-controlled boxes with an alarm system to alert staff at 24-7 manned hospitals and fire stations when a newborn has been surrendered inside. Safe Haven baby boxes are a brand of box commonly used in anonymous surrender states. Senator Carol Blood raised concerns about the safety and consequences of making the box an option. The bill's sponsor says while he hoped to make this an option, he's glad the bill is still moving forward. Standing in front of this Bellevue fire station, safe haven advocate Judith Mancisador says she'd hoped to see a safe haven box installed here one day. That dream came to a pause this week as senators removed an anonymous surrender option from a bill updating the Newborn Safe Haven Act. By not providing a totally anonymous surrender, a newborn safety device or a baby box, you're really jeopardizing infant lives. Senator Blood raised safety concerns about safe haven baby boxes one of the most commonly used boxes. These boxes are not inspected or approved by organizations like the FDA, American Society of Testing and Materials. She added the boxes could be used to shield crimes. They can easily allow someone who kidnapped or trafficked a child to escape the detection. Parents who have neglected or abused a newborn could also get away with it. These boxes are used in other states, so Mancisador doesn't believe they're unsafe. The FDI approves all kinds of medications if you listen to the commercials and it says the side effects may be stroke, heart attack or death. She says the boxes are a better option than leaving infants in the elements. We did see in October of last year a child surrendered on the doorstep of a fire station like this in a cardboard box. The bill sponsor, Senator Rick Holdcroft, understands Blood's concerns. It's probably prudent to, to go ahead and, and let uh, let the technology kind of catch up with the with the concept. He wanted the bill to move forward despite having to remove the anonymous option. I'm not tremendously disappointed. Um, I mean, there are a lot of other things in the bill which I think uh, uh, help out. It would still add face-to-face -face surrenders at fire stations or by calling 911 as options and increase the surrender age to 90 days. Senator Blood, Senator Wayne and I uh, and, uh, and, and and representation from the Health and Human Services. We're going to make sure everything's correct. Uh, so I expect that on select file, it should fly through. Holtkoff also says he isn't giving up on the anonymous surrender option and hopes to bring it up again in the future as technology for the boxes improves. Back to you.